Okay, I think at that point, enough talk. Uh, and let's let the game actually run on a little bit. So let's see, as we grow, we're up to 500 population. Our population is continuing to grow. Uh, and we'll, we'll speed this up. We're starting to make a bit of a dent, a little dent anyway. Now, uh, oh, now pause. Uh, we are now halfway through researching thermodynamics and like at the halfway point in each technology uh, you'll get some kind of event now this one's saying your city administration needs to make a decision about the interior of the forthcoming railway station now we can either make it um, aesthetic uh, or we can have an imperial design or we can have a swar a traditional swaralian design now um, if we go with um, with swaralian that'll make us um, make the swaralian party um, happy uh, and uh, and probably Im uh, and it will improve the standing of the Swaralian party because we're we're promoting Swaralian culture and all the rest of it. But obviously, we are big supporters of the emperor, so I think we'll go with an imperial style. And I actually haven't done this before, so I don't know what bonuses or penalties we're going to get. So this should be quite interesting. So let's see. We get oh, we get plus three goodwill with the uh, physiocratic party. Which is kind of nice. All right, cool. That makes up for the for the two goodwill that I wasted on uh, on that last vote. Well, on this vote that's going to happen fairly soon. Uh, right. So, oh, now the, uh, that's why we're not making that much money because we, um, even though we 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 wanted to increase the taxes, um, that hasn't gone through yet. Right. So we uh, we actually need to let this run and okay now the preparation of the voting has finished the city council can now vote on the proposal you can still appeal to the parties if you want to but the game will remain paused until the voting is done proceed to the city council for the vote okay so let's go to the vote and you can see that the scales are tipped overwhelmingly in favor of approving this bill uh, all of the parties are what way up there which is not a surprise because we're losing money and therefore incre increasing taxation, they would all think it's a very good idea. The parties, the behaviour of the parties is, I, from what I've seen, is actually pretty good. It, I, most of the time it is a help um, because they are relatively sensible. And this is the thing I like about this political uh, thing, that it's not completely arbitrary. I mean... Like if you look at the, the, the like the political system that they tried to put in something like um, Total War Rome 2, which was just horrendous. It was completely random and didn't make any sense and had no depth. This has sense and reason and depth to it. So now this one's a really easy one because um, they, they all approve it. They will not all approve of everything that you want to do. And you will have to manipulate them to get you what you want passed. Uh, but this one's dead easy. Um, three people have, have decided that they are definitely going to vote against. 37 have already decided that they're going to uh, they're going to approve it. And I would think that m pretty much every one of these undecideds is going to vote. So I think we're probably going to win this by 58 to 3. Let's see. Now count out the votes. No, oh, no, no, no. See, a couple of those undecideds went. You do get surprised sometimes by the undecideds. They will actually swing like quite a long way sometimes. Um, I'm surprised that an extra four people uh, went over to that to, to, to vote against. But there you go. Um, anyway, we have now modified the taxes. We've increased the taxes by 3%, so we're running at 13% now. Let's get out of there. Let's go out to the city view. And, whoa, tax increases. And now, oh, look, we were losing 30k, we're now losing 12. Come on, 11. <clears throat> Eight and a half, seven and a half. Can we get to profit? God, I hope so. But look, we're already like 350k in debt. So if I hadn't had the tutorial on, uh, pause, because uh, we've got an event. Uh, if I'd have been able to set the tax rate, uh, like like as soon as I started the game, which is what you would do, then uh, we wouldn't be anywhere near in in the hole as much as that. Mayor's cruelty, and a, a, a local newspaper has nominated you as the cruelest mayor in Swaralia. How do you feel about this? Well, on the basis that I'm a sadistic maniac, right? I'm angry, and I'm going to have him sent to prison. Uh, now, I, this option's locked. 
right? Because you need to have the progressive trait, and I don't have the progressive trait, or this character doesn't have the progressive trait. So I can't choose that option. So the only option I've got is to be angry or ashamed. Well, I'm definitely not... I'm a, I'm a psychopath, so I'm going to be angry and just send you to prison. Uh, after the editor was sent to prison, where he died after a month in mysterious circumstances, <laughs> so he sent him to prison and then only bumped off by somebody inside. Uh, no paper has dared to write anything negative about you. The intelligentsia of the city is now afraid of you, which is, of course, your aim. So uh, this is now, um, now it says bonus to security service, but it, really that should say change to security service, which is affecting the middle class because uh, it's a penalty of minus two. So it's not a bonus, it's a penalty of minus two. And the other effect is uh, we have acquired points towards cruel trait. Uh, so we're plus one to our cruelty, which makes people afraid of us, which is awesome because we like people to be afraid of us. Right, we're still losing 6,000 though. So let's um, let's let this run on a bit longer. Oh, there's the cruelty. We are losing 4,000, less than 4,000 now. Town is still growing, our population is still growing. Only losing 2,000 now. More houses, more businesses. Thus, on this slight and very short experiment, we may understand and judge of the mighty and wonderful laws of the heavens and the nature of winds. Thank you, Vitruvius. Uh, so we've now researched thermodynamics. So we've unlocked steam power. Now that's going to increase our sales in certain of our industries, which should, should really help us out. Uh, we can now change our RCI um, distribution in our districts. Uh, we have uh, unlocked the clothing store and we've unlocked the police station which increases security for um, or the feeling of security for, for residents. Uh, what we need to do now is go to the pro progress cloud and choose what we're going to research next. And I think we're going to go for, I'd really like to get the railway station going. Um, which is an institution, and we haven't talked about institutions yet. So, um, so yeah, we'll go. We'll we'll go with um, we'll go with the telegraph, which will unlock newspapers, uh, churches, railway stations, theatres, and shoe stores. So, yeah, start that research, please. Hooray! Right, let's go back to the city view. Spread selection. You have unlocked spread selection for your districts. This is a good time to create a new district for your city. Hooray! Awesome. Um, but you know what? Um, if I try and create a district now, let me show you. Uh, if I try and create a district now, um, this is how th they feel about it, right? And look, all three parties are distinctly in the red. The idea of, um, of creating this with an extra 33,000 a month uh, cost, bearing in mind that we're already making a loss, means that all of these people, very sensibly, and this is what I like about the political system, the parties are all very sensibly saying, that's a crazy idea, you know? spending. We're already making a loss, and you want to spend even more? Um, so the, it would be very difficult, not impossible, but it would be very difficult to get this bill passed at the moment. But if we wait a little bit, uh, so we'll, we'll dump that, um, if we wait a little bit and hopefully, like, can we get into a profit situation? We may not be able to get into a profit situation. Okay, we've got an event. Steam and speed. Uh, a railroad is being built to um, Kaiserschaffen. And soon there'll be tr uh, trains enabling the fast transport of people and goods. Who knows what kinds of changes that might bring. How do you feel about railroads? Um, trains are the transportation of the future. Every citizen should have access to trains. I dislike them. I have heard they are dangerous. Uh, even though we're traditionalists, I mean, even we are sensible enough to realise that trains are the transportation of the future. So, yeah. Uh, while taking a walk, you halt to have a look at the railway station, uh, or the, the railway station construction site. The beautiful building is almost finished, ready to bring wheels of progress to Kaiserschaffen. Um, oh, we've acquired plus two points to the progressive trait. Okay, now we don't have the progressive trait yet. Let's pause it, if I pause again for a second, uh, and look at the mayoral info. Uh, we haven't gained that trait, but we've, we've got points. If we carry on getting points, then uh, we might acquire that trait. Now, I think at this point, um, is this a good point to look at the victory condition? I think it probably is. 
Um, let's have a look at the... Uh, no, no, let's get rid of the... Exit the player info. Let's have a look at the logbook. Now, um, let's see. Yeah, okay. Let's look at the, the victory conditions. Now, uh, we've actually got... In fact, if I, if I get out of there for a second, if I bring up the logbook, uh, you can see these are all the things that that have happened so far and we actually got like right at the beginning a victory step completed which is uh, portable industry uh, and let's look at the victory conditions now the the obvious one is uh, and, the, and the easiest one to achieve is the end of time because all you have to do to win the game is stay in power for the full 200 years from uh, from 1820 to uh, 2020 now at the end of each era uh, there will be a vote uh, and you have to survive those votes and not get voted out of office and as long as you survive till 2000 till the end of era 5 in 2020 you win hooray and i'm telling you i'm guessing that that is probably not as easy as we might think um, certainly from what i've played of the game so far it is uh, there's a lot to learn before this game is going to be even close to being easy. Um, but there are other ways that you can win the game earlier. So, for example, you can get a science victory. And some of these, some of these things are very easy or appear to be very easy. Um, now, portable industry. Have no heavy industry in your city. Now, we don't have any uh, heavy industry at the moment, but we might get heavy industry later. Um, but higher education. Establish a university in your city. Well, that should be pretty easy. Uh, first graduates have 10% of the population as um, student social class. Now, that might be like easily achieved, but if you look at some of the other ones, like um, Public Enlightenment, have elite middle class and student classes represent over 75% of the city's population. Now, when you start manipulating the populations, um, some of these might be difficult to match up. Um, well, that'll, that's going to be interesting to see. Um, have elite middle class and student um, social classes represent over 50% of the city's population. Um, so, yeah, you've, th there are going to be various things that are going to have to be balanced in order to achieve this. Uh, the economic victory. Uh, gold spike. Establish a railway station in your city. Well, that's fairly straightforward. Establish a port in your city. Pretty straightforward. But like highly educated workforce have the middle class and elite social classes represent more workforce than the lower class and working class um that's going to be slightly more difficult in fact a lot more difficult business incubator have 75 percent of the companies on level three or four um uh, i i would imagine that's not going to be like terrifically easy uh, have employment uh, the unemployment rate below 5%. I don't know how easy or difficult that's going to be. Uh, have a flourishing economy. Have the lower class social class represent less than 15% of the population of the city. Um, so yeah, some of these are going to be definitely difficult to pull off. Uh, political victory, it's the same kind of thing. Um, various different ones that you, you, you need to... Uh, have uh, various upgrades and various goodwill standing with people and stuff like that. The one that people are going to want to try and win by is having a remarkable city. Because, look at this. The goals to achieve this victory condition are unknown. <laughs> now, I know a couple of them. Um... Basically, these are just remarkable events, and some, and they're not all definitely remarkably good. Some might be remarkably bad. Um, one event is um, there is a Jack the Ripper type event, and you have to solve the problem of this um, of this horrendous serial killer, mass serial killer, um, uh, in a in a defined space of time, or or a very short defined space of time and if you can solve the problem very very quickly then you will uh, 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 complete that achievement uh, another one is to for example um, complete women's suffrage and give women the vote uh, much earlier than they did in, um, in in the real history of the like the western world 
Uh, and that's another um, uh, another remarkable event. Um, so there's a whole bunch of them, and it's going to be fun learning what they are. I would imagine there's going to be lots of stuff on the forums about what they are or what they might be, and people discovering them, and then trying to figure out how you not only discovering them but figuring out how you actually beat them. So yeah, I think um, doing the remarkable city one that's going to be an interesting challenge. So that's victory progress. Should we get back to playing the game? <laughs> I told you there was depth to this game. A lot of stuff to learn, a lot of stuff to pick up. And then like, okay, fine. So now we know a lot of this stuff, but but like, how do the services interact, right? Like each of the services costs money. So like if I was to add, I don't know, like, um, like if I click on Farnham and I was to say modify the district, uh, oh, I can now change the uh, the spread selection if I want to. So up here, this is the RCI meter. So this is this is telling us uh, we've got demand for um, residential. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any for uh, commercial or industrial. Uh, and so we could adjust the uh, uh, these percentages to to reflect what the what the demand is. You do have to be a little bit careful though, because for example, just because you don't have any demand for industrial. Uh, and you've got a big demand for commercial. If let's say you were creating a new a new district, you wouldn't want to create it all um, residential. Or let's say a, a better example really is if you had uh, a big demand for industry, you wouldn't want to create the district as just industry, um, even though you didn't have any demand, or maybe you had a negative demand, uh, because as soon as you get more industry, uh, they'll need more workforce, and that will then create more demand for residential. So. Um, you kind of got to take this into uh, into account and, and adjust a little bit, but you don't want to like over adjust because otherwise you'll just kind of overshoot in the wrong direction. Um, so uh, change the spread and confirm. Okay, well, I, like to be honest, I don't really want to do that at the moment, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of ignore that. Um, yeah, cancel. Uh, so let's see, uh, what do I want to do? Um, I, really, I'd like to create a completely new district, but trying to get that through, voted through at the moment, is going to be difficult while we're still making a loss. Um, I don't know. Let's... Can I get the hell out of here? Uh, confirm. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see if we can create a new district. So we would want a new district over here. Uh, Something like, something like that. No. Nope. See, district too large. Here we go. Now, that would work. Um, I don't like, really like that angle very much. So, let's, uh, oh, come on, move in a bit. Let's do it more like that. Right. These guys are very, very much against me doing this. So I don't know. <clears throat> Um, I would have to spend a lot of goodwill to persuade these guys to actually do this. Um, but the thing is, like, how the hell do I like increase the amount of money that I'm making um, within a district? Now, it, let's say, okay, let's say I decide, okay, well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try and do something else to create some money. So let's um, let's cancel. Ah, no. Cancel your changes. Yes. Um, what could I do to, to improve the situation here? Well, um, I could go to here and I could uh, potentially modify this. And now it's telling me that I've got residential demand. So I could actually bump up the residential a little bit. Uh, say 64, just a, just a little bit to create a few more people. Um, who could then go and work and that might get me a little bit more cash um, So we'll, we'll try doing that But you can see that people that the they're gonna be resistant to that It's gonna be difficult to get that through um, Now I I could place a police station to increase order uh, to increase um, the feeling of security which would uh, make people happier but to be honest people are already fairly happy about security anyway so I don't think that's really the way to go uh, and the thing is a police station would cost a fortune and if I tried to place one right look what's going to happen over here right so if I said okay I wanted to put a police station in uh, there 
look, look how red that's gone. They're like, no freaking way, because that's going to cost uh, an extra 20k a month, and we're already making a loss. So yeah, there's a lot to learn in terms of like what are the what are the strategies for like how you actually make money. What are the right taxation levels to run? And it does seem to vary um, a fair amount. It's um, it's it's like it's not it's not the easiest thing. Um, now that police station. If I want to get rid of that police station, if I if I click on that, I'll, it'll give me an option to to get rid of that. So we could just do um, do a little adjustment on this and see if that helps. So let's uh, let's confirm that. And there's nothing else that I want to change. Okay, so let's let's propose that change to the district. So these guys are very, very much against. Uh, these guys are in the middle, and these guys uh, very much approve. So what we'll do is um, we'll okay that vote, and then we'll go to the council chamber. Now, currently, it looks like this is going to get approved. These guys have got 28 seats on the council. These guys have got 26. These guys have only got seven. So what we'll do is we'll we'll we'll, we'll spend a bit of goodwill. So we'll uh, we'll plead with these guys and say uh, most most citizens agree with this. So and as you can see, that's just gone up to that kind of level. Now uh, we've improved the opinion on the current vote of the Free Democratic Party by two points, but it's cost us two goodwill. Uh, and we'll do the same with um, the, the National Swaralian Party. Uh, so we'll spend a bit of our goodwill on them and we'll say, yeah. Uh, let's invite, uh, let's explain, let's put it in the paper. Let's write a newspaper article explaining why we think this is a great idea. So let's do that. And yes, we've moved them uh, into the uh, into the pro column. So right now, if we had the vote right now, I think we would probably win it. It does. It does kind of look that way. Now that has given us again plus two points uh, of opinion, uh, but it's cost us. Uh, well, that's only cost us one goodwill, so that's kind of good news. Now, the physiocratic party. Yeah, you know what? We can still up this a little bit. The city really needs it. Yes, excellent. So we've now we've now got it so that seven seven people have decided they're definitely going to vote against it. As things stand at the moment, uh, but 12 people are uh, are going to definitely vote for it. Now that still leaves 42 people undecided, so this could still go either way. But the scales have tipped heavily in favour of uh, this bill being approved. So what we can do now is go back out to the city view and let this run for a bit. Now let's see, we're still losing money. We're not losing very much. But we are still losing money. Um, what I'm going to do is, well, a newspaper has appeared. Hooray. You should always catch up with the latest headlines to know what's happening in the world around you. Okay. Um, the Free Democratic Party uh, wins the elections. Damn it. Um, that's not very good news for us. The National Australian Party came second. Damn. So the party that tends to support us the most came third. Okay, this is not good news for us. Um, okay, let's let's pause the game. Let's go and have a look at the um, the, the state of play. So these now guys have now got twenty nine votes. These have got seventeen. These have only got fifteen votes now. Uh, that has changed the complexion quite a lot. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna work on these guys a bit more. But we've only got one goodwill with them. So um, we'll. Um, I think we'll just invite the party leader to dinner for now. So, yeah. Okay, we got plus two points, and uh, it only cost us one one point of goodwill. We got this. Uh, we got two goodwill with uh, with these guys. Um, so let's um, again. We'll just keep pleading our case. Praise the positive effects behind your position. Uh, or we could ask for a favour. You know what? Let's ask for a favour. Ooh, that didn't get us as much as we thought. Um, but some of them listened, and a, f and, a f and a few like us enough to help. So that cost us. Uh, that cost us one goodwill. Only got us one point of uh, of opinion. Ooh, this is going to be a close one. This is going to be a close one, guys. Um, 
tell you what, we'll let this run on for another couple of months, and then we'll go back, and we've got one good will. I'm going to say the city really needs this. Oh, that got us, uh, that got us another two point, uh, well, one and a half points of opinion. Ah, uh, fool. It's going to be a close one. It's going to be a close one. Uh, the scales are tipped against us at the moment. Um, we've got two goodwill. You know what? I'm going to demand that these guys support us. Um, you need to understand how important this issue is. That's going to cost us two goodwill. That would cost us three. Let's go with the two. Oh, that's got us a nice move. Plus three. Excellent. Okay. Um, still hasn't tipped the scales. But it's looking a little bit better. So I think what we'll do, go back to city view. We'll, we'll let it run now until the vote. Now, as well as us um, trying to... Um, appeal to people and get them to change their views the parties can actually appeal to other parties and get them to change their try and get them to change their views and actually the um, that one that just happened the the physiocratic party appealed to the national Sferalian party uh, to, to vote with them now that's actually good for us because they're on our side the um, the um, physiocratic party at least on this issue so yeah so that's actually moved them further in this direction so oh look at this it's even Stevens right now this vote could go either way so man this has cost us a lot to get a tiny change through um, man we're, we're minus one goodwill with them we're on zero with them this is the one that we need to change though. You know what? I am going to demand it's your duty to the city and all Sferalia to vote yes. Um, or do I appeal to them and it's the, for the common good? You know what? No, it's their duty. Frickin' vote the way I told you to. Okay, that has just swung it and that should get us there. But that's used up. Our goodwill is down to minus four. That's not great. <clears throat> okay, well, let's see. Let's see if we can actually get this vote won. Yeah, we're going to win. Fairly easily. There we go. 26 to 35. Hooray! Uh, but all that's done is just change the uh, the RCI slightly in that, in that one region. Now, is that going to be enough to actually get us profitable? We're minus five, minus five and a half, minus six. Oh, here we go. It often goes like a bit more negative before it comes back. I guess because things are changing function. And so business are closed, closed down or whatever, you get more residential, but then the, the new residents can go and work at companies and it all kind of works itself out. But no, we're still, we're still losing money around 4,000 a month. Oh, here we go. Come on. Improve, damn you. Oh, the paper business is having a recession. That doesn't help us. 3,000, 4, 3,000, 2. Come on, 3,001. Keep going. Come on. We really need to get profitable. We're in debt by over half a million. No, we're 3,000. Okay, we've got an event. School budget. The Free Democratic Party has come up with an unpopular proposal of cutting the funding of schools. With the current economic situation, difficult decisions could be necessary. Do you support the proposal? Now, cutting the, the funding to schools will reduce the effect of schools, uh, which is not good. But it might get us profitable. Um, now, we have we can either say yes and support this, uh, this motion, so it's got to be done. Or we could say no. Uh, but the count will, will, but we'll let the council decide. Uh, or we could say definitely not. Now the thing is, because I've uh, like used up a lot of my goodwill, and I don't want to like waste a lot more. Uh, and because the Free Democratic Party is the biggest party, and they're going to be vehemently supporting this, I think we should agree with them. Uh, we can always change it back later. 
So let's say yes, it has to be done. So um, yeah, because they're the largest party, uh, I would think they're going to carry this pretty easily. You would have thought the uh, the council will vote on cutting the budget of schools. So um, they'll bring it down the, the funding for schools by one level. Uh, we'll get uh, we'll get a point of goodwill with uh, with the Free Democratic Party, which would be kind of nice. Uh, we get a bonus to personal growth. Oh, in the whole of Kaiserschaffen. Oh no, it goes down minus one. We lose a point of personal growth. Uh, but personal growth at five at the moment, so that's maybe not the end of the world. And the change of opinion on the current vote. Ah, uh, oh, plus 15. Okay. All right, excellent. So, let's check the vote. Oh, man. <laughs> We've said it has to happen. Uh, and, yeah, it's going to happen. Like, no problem. Okay, we just got to wait for the uh, we just got to wait for that to happen then. And that the thing is that should at least get us to a, a profitable situation. And then once we're making a profit, life's going to get like a hell of a lot easier. So you know what? Let's crank up the speed until we get invention that vote done. Invention. No sooner is the electric telegraph devised than gutter percher, the very material it requires, is found. Excellent. Right, so we've now researched the telegraph. So we've got newspapers. We've got now what shoe stores. We've got theatres churches and the railway station uh, let's go to the progress cloud what are we going to research next i think we'll go for gas infrastructure which allows us to have like street lights and um, it'll also give us a a boost to the um, to the physical environment which we could actually do with because we're at minus two at the moment so let's um get that start to researching okay uh let's go to the city view institutions You've now discovered uh, an invention that unlocks an institution. Now, institutions are different from service buildings uh, because service buildings have a radius. Institutions don't. They affect the entire city, uh, which is what this says. Um, their service range covers the entire city. They can also be upgraded later on. Go to the service building menu, add the institution that you've unlocked. Okay. Well, I will do that, but I'm really freaking hoping that we can get into positive, positive ground. Um, vote about the funding change. Uh, yeah, this is going to be passed easily. So, begin voting. Yeah, walk in the park. So that's going to cut the funding for schools, which is going to drop the um, the personal growth, which is kind of generally not a good thing. But, hopefully... Oh, and now we're suddenly making money. And we've just entered into a boom time. An economic boom. Um, there are all kinds of like global events, local events, uh, personal events. Um... And this is one of them. Hooray. Now, this won't last forever. Uh, but we're at least making like six and a half, seven, seven, eight and a half, nine. Come on, keep going up. Keep going up. Don't go down. <laughs> okay, so we're making about 8,000 a month. Which helps. The Free Democratic Party wins the elections. Ah, the Physiocratic Party have come back again. Uh, they came second with a difference of 18%. That's, uh, that's kind of good news for us. Okay, let's get rid of that. Okay, I think at this point, we should probably put in um, or try and get another district built. So, let's go to uh, create district. Let's put it up on this. Let's put it up on that corner. Drag it out here. All right, so. That's nice. That would work for me. Okay, this is um, 335. Now, it's going to be difficult to get this through. Because they're, they're not happy. Because we're, we're deep in debt. We're going to get... We're, we're going to spend another 335. And uh, we'll get 30... Increase our, our, our budget deficit by like minus 39,000. We're only making 7,500. The thing is, if we can push this through, um, we would actually end up making more money. So I really want this to happen. So I'm going to confirm the land plan. Um, now let's see. We've got demand. We've got reduced demand for residential. We've got big demand for commercial. So I tell you what, we'll bump up commercial a little bit. 
Um, we've got a little bit of demand for industry. So we'll bump that up a little bit. Um, it is fine tuning though. Yeah, you don't have to make like massive adjustments. I mean, we could probably take that up to 15%, but I wouldn't go any higher than that. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get this through, but we'll see what we can do. Okay. Um, confirm zoning. I'm not going to put any services in because there's absolutely no freaking way it would get through if I put any additional costs on this. So, uh, confirm services and propose. Right, look, they are so against this it's untrue they really don't like the idea of this um, we will go with a normal vote Ooh, this could be this could be make or break for us um, I am gonna go and try and start persuading these guys to change their minds now uh, these guys uh, we've got goodwill with so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna plead our case uh, take the party leader out to dinner um, yeah, that's got us a nice bump. Uh, let's see. And then these guys. We've got three goodwill with them. Um, you know what? I'm going to demand. I'm going to demand help from the private, uh, the party chairman in private. Let's start with that. See what we get. Oh, that's a nice jump. Plus four. Excellent. And let's see. These guys. We've got three goodwill with them again. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, okay. In that case, I'm going to try demanding again. The future of our city depends on... Uh, the, yeah, it depends on your choice. Please let this work. Yes, nice. Plus four, and it only cost me one goodwill. Awesome. Okay, well, that freaking worked well. <laughs> uh, okay, let's, uh, let's go out to the city view. Uh, we'll let it run for a couple of months and then we'll go back and we'll do it again. Oh, gas infrastructure. What's this? No, that means we're halfway through. Uh, now, the city administration is pondering between the different types of gas streetlights. Do you choose the Anglo-Saxon model, the Parisian model or the Viennese model? Now, I happen to know that the Parisian model uh, gives you a boost to the environment because they'd look nice. So we're going to go with the Parisian model. Which gives us, yes, gives us plus one to uh, the physical environment uh, for gas street lights and decorated gas street lights. There are two different types. So, yes, okay. Um, right, let's go, let's go back to here and we'll carry on. So, we've still got two goodwill with these guys. Let's uh, demand. No one should oppose this. It's for the common good. Okay, that's pushed them up, but it's pushed them down. Okay. Uh, these guys. You know what? Should we try... Th I'm going to try threatening these guys. You'll be sorry. Vote with me or you'll be free. Support me or your career in politics is over. We'll go hardline. Oh, yeah, that's pushed them up pretty, pretty nice. We've got plus four, but... That cost us for goodwill, that threat. That's why you can't use threats too, very, too much. And then these guys, uh, let's see. Now, these, uh, these are the guys with 28 votes. They've only got 15. Um, I, might just, I might just plead this. Let's take this. I'm going to say, I really want to fix this issue. Okay, that's jumped us up. Give us a couple of points. Only cost us one goodwill. All right, that's working. That's working. All right, let's um, go up to the city view. Give it a couple of months. In fact, let's give it another one. Right, let's go back. And, man, God, it's hard to keep these guys up there. Um, all right, we've got minus two goodwill with them. I might leave them alone. We've got one goodwill with them. Let's uh, praise the positive effects. Ooh, got it up there a little bit. And these guys, we've only got one point with. You know what? I'm going to demand. The future of our city depends on your choice. Oh, okay. Well, that's got them into positive territory at least. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. And... The Sforalian party. I'm going to leave them alone. Okay, so 
um, let's exit and we'll run it on for let's say another couple of months all right and we'll go back in there is a lot of this trying to persuade these guys uh let's see we're minus one goodwill with them minus one with them uh i'm gonna plead city really needs it oh we're close we're close and these guys will try the same tactic. City really needs it. All right, cool. And we'll try the same with these guys. Um, am I? Yeah, I think I am actually. Yeah, plead. Praise the positive effects. All right, cool. This is very borderline now, but I think with a bit of luck, we should be able to pull this off. So we'll run it on for a couple of months. We'll get one more appeal in. So let's see, we're at minus two, uh, minus three and minus two. Jeez, we're really using up our goodwill to try and get this through. But we've got to, because we've just got to get into more positive territory with the cash. So uh, we will plead, invite the party leader to dinner oh that's tipped the scales uh, so these guys if we do the same thing uh, I'm gonna say I really need this oh they didn't want to do me any favors I picked the wrong one there that was really my fault uh, these guys uh, city really needs it I uh, see that's what I should have gone for before ah okay never mind um <laughs> We should win, but I'm probably going to do uh, one more appeal. So let's let it run. Okay, now we've got the vote itself. Uh, no, you know what? We should win. We should win. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gamble, but we should win. Yeah, just. It's only going to be like one or two votes, though. I think three votes we won by. Wow! But we got it. Which means we get the new district. Hooray. So now we're running it on a bit fast. Let's, uh, let's run it on two times. Now, we were way down. But as it grows, we start to cover our costs. Now, we were making uh, like 6000 a month before we created this new district. Let's see what we're making once this is fully grown. We're making 4,000, 5,000. Let's crank it up. 6,000, 7. The port oh, is and now we've got gas infrastructure. Dark outside or not. <laughs> That's funny, that. The porch light is burnt out, and I can't see whether it's dark or not. <laughs> uh, we get gas lights and cobblestone roads and um, gas infrastructure, which we'll talk about in a minute. Right, let's go to the progress cloud. And we will go to... What are we going to research next? I think, uh, yeah, we'll do the last one of the of the tier one. We'll do um, safety authorities, I think. That gives us some interesting edicts that we might want to use. And it gives us the health clinic as well. So, yeah, okay, let's go with that. So, start research. Uh, okay, let's go back to the city view. So, 10k, 12k. Oh, we're actually making 12k. Wow. Son! Congratulations, your wife has borne you a son. And the family doctor has told you that he is strong and robust. You've decided to give him the biblical name Simeon. How will you bring him up? Obedience, plus four to crawl. Uh, respect for tradition, plus four to Luddite. Or being a, a von Filson, he'll be good. Plus four to elitist. Uh, minus four to populist. Uh, pff, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Respect for traditions? Should we have respect for traditions? Yeah, come on. Let's go and respect for traditions. Young Simeon is growing quickly and his skills and character are delight to you and your wife. Excellent. And that gives us um, plus three to the optimist trait. Okay, cool. Right, so we are up to uh, 1835. Oh, great. <laughs> the economy is now slowing down, worn experts. 
Sooner or later, prices for your exports will drop or import prices will rise. Your property market may suddenly devalue. Yeah, thanks very much. Thanks for all the good news. Uh, well, we're, we're holding on. 13, 14, 15. 15,000. Ah, now. Okay. Limited liability companies. It's here proposed, hereby proposed, companies allowing limited liability should be enacted. Now, if we look at the political spectrum, um, this is probably going to be, now this is the, this is the approval and this is the disapproval. Um, I'm guessing this is going to go through. Now this has a lot of effects and this is, um, this is a very important thing. Now, this is going to give us bonuses to a lot of things. And if we look at these bottom ones, um, security. So this is going to give us plus four to, uh, to security. Uh, for all citizens it's going to give us plus four uh, bonus to social life for all citizens uh, plus four to physical environment plus four to fund service and uh, plus four to the health service and you might think well that's freaking awesome right and there's no question as a short-term boost and these are short-term boosts this is not a permanent plus four this is a, this is a, a short-term plus four um, it will make us a lot happier our citizens are a lot happier which will definitely make things better in the short term but if you go up to the top up here you'll see that um, there's a, a demand change for personal growth and for security and for social life and and for all the things that we get a short-term boost for and what that means is that um, you know you've got you you've got the the level that they demand and then the level that we're producing. This is going to add to the level that they demand over time. So in the short term, we will make them happier. But over the long term, right, they are going to be harder to please. So it's like the more you give them, the more they want. OK, so, yeah, <laughs> this is a, a very much a double edged sword. Uh, but right now um, we could really use the bonus to be honest uh, making people a lot happier will increase the uh, the productivity of our industry and uh, uh, our commerce and should make us more money so getting this through would actually be like right now a good thing and we'll worry about the long term later so we are going to uh, support this bill uh, it's going to be interesting to see what that does to this when we support it okay so they're very much against it they're very much for it, and they're in the middle. We should be able to get this through fairly easily, I think. I would hope so. Yeah, we should be able to get that through. Imperial Council to introduce new legislation for a new type of company. All right, cool. So let's um, let's go and have a look. So uh, right now, this would go through on its own without us doing anything. They've only got 15. They've got 28. We've got no goodwill with them. Uh, you know what? I'm going to plead. City really needs it. Okay, that's good. That'll do. That's as much as we needed to do. That makes it a safe win at the moment. Uh, let's see how that goes in... I don't know. Let's run it through to 25%. Pause. Pause. Uh, let's have a look at safety authorities. We're halfway through researching safety authorities. Uh, the administration is prepared for the, admin, the for the establishment of professional safety authorities. Do you want them to focus on the police force, fire departments, or clinics? Uh, what do we? I don't know. I'm thinking we're probably health is probably our weak spot at the moment. So you know what? Focus on clinics. Effect uh, bonus to health plus one. Oh, so clinics will give us plus one, an extra plus one. Uh, and change in monthly city fund expenses. So clinics are now 25% less expensive to run. Uh, that's pretty damn good. Okay, cool. Um, you can see how all of these different choices that you make, when you combine them with like the family, uh, the family bonuses, the personal bonuses, the... Um, the different bonuses that you get from following the, 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 the different tech trees, uh, these kind of events, uh, it adds up to very different paths 
in the game. Uh, I think there's there's going to be real thought going into what are the strategies to um, to like get the win, uh, and what are the best ways to uh, to like improve growth and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be very interesting. Um, I would love to get us on the gas network, but uh, I think we need to focus right now on getting profitable. Uh, or getting out of... We are profitable, but we need to get out of debt. We're like 400,000 in debt. So I'm going to let it just run for a while. We'll try and get this limited liabilities law through. We're growing. We're up to 25, 26,000 we're making now. So this is going well. Um, the Free Democratic Party, the Physocratic Party came in second, 18% behind. Okay. That's pretty much status quo. That's not much of a change. We're up to 33,000 profit now. We're just about to get out of debt. We're out of debt. Oh my God, we're making money. Okay, pause.